Here's the sitch. I got really bored, okay? Let me tell you why I got bored. Just look at all this, okay? I just want you to take a peek. This is proof that I've actually been doing stuff that's like moderately pertinent to what is going on. Okay, so look, right? These are all these are all videos that video ideas I have, right? They're all there, right? And here's all the clips that I have to do. My predicament is that I'm having to go through all of these and I'm having to rename them in ways that make it clear what it is, and there are, uh, like, over a hundred clips in here, there's like 119 clips here, I've had to go through them, I'm right here, that's where I'm at, so, this is just proof that I'm, like, doing stuff with my life, okay, well, I'm not actually, I'm not doing stuff with my life, but at least I'm being productively useless, um, I just want to make that clear. Uh, but yeah, I just got really bored because I'm renaming clips and stuff, and it's not the most exciting thing in the world, as you can imagine. Uh, and so I just figured, hey, I'm gonna talk to myself, and uh, as I do this for a little bit, and we'll see if anything good comes out of it. So I, w I wanted to do this match. Um, I like literally this is the first one I loaded up today and I was like hey this would be a good one just to putz around on um, so I've been working on my wolf a little bit obviously my main my main thing is my puff but I've been working on wolf a little bit actually not so much recently I haven't played the game in like two weeks but you know two weeks ago I was working on wolf a little bit wolf is still a little bit rusty so don't judge my wolf based on this video I'm just gonna do a little bit of an analysis because I find it fun to pretend like I'm smart, and like I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so first thing here, you, okay, I should I should also preface this. Um, I don't know if anybody's familiar with PPMD, but he says that the way that you analyze a match is you look at a hit and you figure out why that hit happened. Okay, um, before we look at the hit, I want you to look at DK's face. That is the last thing anybody should see before they die. Um, and look at Wolf, he looks like a badass. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, a lot of people, like, on Battlefield, just immediately drop down, uh, because general rule in Smash Bros, for those of you who don't know, uh, being above your opponent is not good, generally speaking. So, a lot of people just kind of, you know, without thinking, think, oh, being on the ground is better, you know, especially when you're starting out the game, when you're in neutral. Um, which, again, for those of you who don't know, neutral game is basically when neither of the players have an inherent advantage. Um, so a lot of, you see, yeah, a lot of players will just kind of drop down right away, and I had a feeling that he was going to do that, so I dropped down and I said, yo, you're going to drop down right away. I'm going to shoot you for doing that thing. Uh, and yeah, I, I got a, a really, really nice 10% out of that, which is, uh, that's ideal. It's, uh, you know, I, I won't complain about that. And, fair, I kind of just read the jump there. Uh, Fulf, Fulf, jeez, Louise, what am I saying? Wolf has some pretty crazy strings that you can do. So, you see, fair, look out bear. I'm just kind of fairing and not bearing him along. So because my wolf isn't great, I, I get paired just the way that Smash Online matchmaking works, I get paired with a lot of, like, not the best players. Um, so if this DK were better, it probably would have been a little bit less one-sided, as you'll see. But, you know, d to be fair, okay, in this matchup, both, both of these characters are pretty decent. Um, I actually forget when this was recorded, so maybe they've gotten nerfed in patches since then. But... Both of these characters are pretty decent overall, I'd say. Uh, I think Wolf is better in this specific character matchup because DK's big, which means that he gets comboed a lot, especially by a faster uh, combo-heavy character like Wolf. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. He's got an exploitable recovery. You'll see that too. DK does. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
Wolf just kind of does good. He's got a projectile. He's basically a sword character, even though he doesn't look like it, so he's got range. You can kind of just oppress him. Uh, so you see here, I'm forcing him off the stage. Oop, I go for the down air there, because I'm like, ooh, I can get that. That's what I'm talking about. Unsafe dash attack right there. That was just dumb. He goes... Okay, so it goes for F tilt there. I don't know what he's expecting. I guess he's just applying pressure. So another F tilt would have been not a bad idea, but instead he goes for that dumb dash attack, which I don't understand what he was thinking there. F tilt, and he waits a second, and he tries to react to me getting up by doing dash attack. Literally any other option would have been better there. Another dash attack, grab, uh, jab. Like, all of those would have sent me, like, over here, to a point where I was off stage, which would have been a much better position for him. But instead, he was an idiot and decided to go for dash attack, which is unsafe as hell. And, really, there's no inherent advantage to using dash attack over literally any of the other options that I just named. Uh, so, you know, genius DK right here. So, again, we got back throw that... Almost killed. And we got the down air. Uh, like I said, I guess that wasn't necessarily his recovery specifically. But, uh, yeah, you go that low, I know exactly what you're gonna do, right? Because he had his jump, so he could have jumped at any point over here. And honestly, it probably would have been smarter. Honestly. If he had jumped, like, right here, and, like, gone up here, right? Like, avoided... Because this would keep going, and he could jump, like, right there because the laser blast would be out of the way by then. And then if he recovered high, that would have been much, much smarter than what he actually did, because what he did, I don't know what he was expecting me to do. I'm not sure if he, like, anticipated me calling out the jump or whatever, but by the time you're down here, especially as DK, it becomes very, very obvious what you're going to do. Because DK's recovery, like his whole helicopter swirly thing, does not go up very far. It goes sideways, you know, pretty decent ways. But it doesn't go up very far. And his he is not invulnerable, especially from, like, the top. So you can hit his head still. Um, which, when you have a character like Wolf, who has an attack that does that, where it just goes, like, straight down, that's not good. You know, so I think it actually would have been much, much, much safer for him to recover up there. What did he do the first time? What did he do that first time? I sent him off. So I sent him off there, and he recovered low again. Okay, so he likes to recover low. It seems he recovered low twice in a row at least, which is generally not what you want to do. So yeah, so he does that. There's like, there's so few options that he has right there. Because either he, because once he's down there, he either, I mean, he has to jump. Because just using recovery right there isn't going to get him back. So I know he has to jump. And then, like, at that point, I'm just up here. I'm covering, like, wherever he goes. If he had kind of, like, jumped forward, I cover that, obviously, because I can just go down. If he jumps straight up, I can kind of just continue to drift this way. I can just down here. Yeah, I cover basically everything here. Like, once he's at this point, once he's at the apex of his jump right here, he has, like, one, maybe two options, which is either try to recover using up B, and I still hit him because he's, like I said, he's not invulnerable, or... He could try to air dodge up, but I, DK is so big and so heavy that I can't imagine his air dodge goes super far. So honestly, I think either way, he just kind of committed himself to a death sentence. Unless he was counting on me screwing things up, which, come on, let's be real. I'm not going to screw things up. Actually, I am, because, uh, like I said, my wolf isn't the best. I'm used to Jigglypuff, who falls very slow. Uh, the wolf here is a fast faller. That means that he falls fast, which is, uh, you know... If I were actually good at the game, I would, you know, be able to adapt to that, but clearly I'm not. Uh, so yeah, uh, see here, I think that was a fast fall. Did I fast fall here? No, I guess I didn't. So I didn't fast fall, which is good, because if you fast fall as Wolf, or Fox, or Falco, especially doing an offstage aerial as an edge guard, like I just did, uh, that's basically a death sentence because they fall so far so fast that by the time you're able to actually do anything, you're dead. I think my main mistake here, 
I hate that I can't go frame by frame in the Windows Media Player. Uh, the main thing that I did here was I went down, and then you see I jumped, but I jumped too short. I did a I did a short hop. I didn't jump to the full extent of my jump. I kind of just I, I think I was mashing B after I pressed the up to jump because I used tap jump. So you know I would have just tapped the left stick up, and then I guess I just mashed B, uh, which is not good. I, there's, there's literally nothing pressuring me right now. He's up there. He can't attack me. There's no way he can get down here and throw out an attack fast enough to even catch me doing whatever it is that I'd want to do. Um, so yeah, no, that was literally just me being impatient and not smart. And I, I, I don't know. Maybe I was worried that I was just going to fall and like go too far and I just wanted to get up as quick as I could before... It was uh, a death sentence, but I, I really do think I could have survived this if I hadn't been dumb. Uh, I took 11.3% that first stock. I think he hit me once. He hit me... Um, he hit me once with an F-tilt, and then I don't know how he got the other 1.3%. Oh, through that. Okay, so yeah, 11.3% uh, first stock. So that's not too shabby. Uh, he charges up punch, which is you know, uh, punch isn't bad for DK. It's not the best. It's not as good as it has been. It doesn't launch you quite as far. I don't think it does quite as much damage. Um. But I mean, it's a good tool. It's a good tool to have on deck. I don't, I don't think it was bad for him to do that. Uh, especially considering how. Uh, well, no, I was gonna say since he's invincible, but I'm dumb because he's only flashing because he has punch. I'm flashing because I'm invincible. So never mind. Um, yeah, it's just smart. He has time to get it off before I come down, and you can see I'm kind of, I'm kind of throwing out moves. This is kind of just the, the mash buttons strategy that I'm doing right here. Uh, I'm gonna watch this again. So I tried to catch his jump. I thought he was gonna come in further uh, for that jump. I thought he was either gonna jump like over, or maybe he was gonna dash back in. So that's why I threw out the nair. Right. Uh, well, I'm skipping around. I know this looks repetitive, so I threw out that nair because I expected him to come back in or to jump a little bit closer to me. Um, so if I had done, I might have even been, been able to catch him with a fair here. Um, but yeah, maybe even up there, but um, yeah, I mean, I just expected him to come a little bit closer, which is, you know, that's fine. Um, early up air, I should have saved that up air. Um, he goes for down air, which is dumb. Uh, because, A, I'm going this way, and I guess he could have caught me if he did it a little bit earlier, but I really, I don't, I, like, that's not the smartest thing. He should have done, like, back air, or nair, um, or maybe even up air. Those would have been smarter decisions from him, but no, he, he did down air, which has a fair amount of end lag, so I dash attack. I just want to point out... I did jab, uh, uh, hold up. I did jab, reverse jab, which is, it doesn't seem hard to do, but like, it takes a little bit of practice and it looks kind of cool, so I just, I just want to throw that out there, I did that, boom, boom, you know, just want to throw that out there, practice that in your spare time, it's kind of cool, um, I don't, that's like literally one of the most basic things on earth, I don't know why I'm bragging about that, um, Alright, dash attack, you can see I tried to follow up with uh, with the uh, jab, sorry, uh, and then I realized, oh wait, he's ended up on that side of me, so I turned around and I did another jab just in case he decided to rush in. Um, smartly, he air dodged away, and then he didn't have to roll back, although, you know, I can respect that, because, you know, maybe he, he was probably expecting me to do dash attack, which is fair. Um, because I feel like I probably do dash attack a little bit too much in neutral. Uh, so that was, that was actually probably a fair play by DK. I, I, I respect that. He's trying to space himself away. But here, he jumps away. Uh, you don't really need to jump away. Like, I don't... That doesn't strike me as being... Well, hold on. 
So he rolls away, he dash attacks, he dash attacks again. I'm talking about myself using dash attack too much in neutral. Let it, let it not be lost that DKs, in general, I think, personally, in my opinion, my humble opinion, online, Donkey Kong's use dash attack way too much in neutral. You're not invincible during it, okay? It's like, it's like one of the least safe things you could do on shield. It's dumb. Don't do it. It's a very niche move. I know it's one of the easiest moves to do. You press sideways, and then you press a button, or you tap the stick. But don't use it as much. It's not that good. Okay. Now that my little rant's out of the way. Um, that was a dumb forward air. I don't know if that was a dumb forward air, actually. Because uh, I was expecting him to jump again. I, I just expected him to jump, uh, but he didn't. He dash attacked. Then I do another one, because I thought for sure he's going to jump, but no. I, you know, I have not accounted for the fact that this is an online DK player. And, uh, you know, spacing, stage control means nothing to him. Uh, he is very content to do a dash attack this way, and then to do another dash attack immediately after this way. It is what it is, he didn't get hit for it, so you know, I can't really fault him for it at this moment. Um, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. He does it, he did it again. I can't, like, that time I can fault him for it. You idiot. That hasn't worked, like, the last four times you've done it. It's the whole reason you died over here. Like, ready? Forward tilt, dash attack, and then back throw. You do a dumb thing off the ledge, and you die. But that all started because you dash attacked on my shield and let me grab you. Don't, like, stop it. Stop dash attacking. It's not smart. It's not smart, bro. It's not good. Alright. Um, at that point, I think I was expecting him to do it again, so I went with the up tilt. Up tilt probably was not the smartest decision I could have gone for there. Um, but I, I kind of knew what he was trying to do. I was like, alright, he's trying to get a little bit more aggressive, so he's going to do that. He did that. Um, I, I remember the specific thought that went through my head when I did this, right? So, I shielded, because I was like, okay, he's being aggressive. And I don't think he's grabbed me, grabbed, tried to grab me once this entire game. So I can probably shield. I think that's a fairly safe option. It was, clearly. He's an idiot. He dash attacks. Um, so I grab him out of it because, again, unsafe on shield. I can punish you for dash attacking on my shield as, like, literally any of my characters. I mean, that's just, that's just a general idea. Don't dash attack into people's shields, or at all, in neutral. It's not a good idea. Uh, so I grab him, obviously, and then, um, what percentage was he at before? I pummel him, like, twice, so, like, 16, 17 percent. Um, Wolf here has got some crazy conversions off of down throw. Uh, and it's different on different characters. I'm not good enough with Wolf to know exactly what percentages for which characters it is. I'll be, I'll be straight up, I'll be honest. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly what, uh, like, what conversions are available at what point. Normally, normally I have a sense of it, right? So I knew that, like, he was going to go close enough to where I could down smash there. Had I down smashed, uh, well, it looks like he directional air dodges down. No, he spot dodges, interesting. Um, so had I down smashed, it maybe would not have hit hit him, because down smash maybe would have uh, been a little bit quicker. So he might have spot dodged it su successfully. I don't know. I'm, I'm coming up with crap that I don't even know is true. Basically, I was like, listen, I always, I always, 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 always go for down smash. I'm, I just feel like trying to up smash this one time. That's actually just the thought process that went through my head, and it worked out pretty well. So I did that. I expected him... I didn't even expect him to do anything. It was obvious he was going to have to land like on this side of the platform, unless he unless he air dodged that way, which would have been weird. So I don't know why why uh, up air there. That was dumb. Up air there, dumb. Um, caught him with that forward tilt. Read the roll in. Yeah, just kind of read it. People like to do that. Um, 
leads me. I get I, no, I, I don't know. I can see his thought process there. Because I'm going this way, and then, like, it looks like... But, like, right up until about that point right there. Where I start going that way. It looks like I'm going that way. You know? Which makes sense, because I am, in fact, going that way until this moment. At which point I start going that way. So, I, I, you know, I'm assuming he thought that I was going to go for some sort of conversion. Um, my voice just cracked, jeez. <clears throat> um, but, you know, get up attack probably would have been, been a little bit safer. Because um, he might have actually hit me right here if he had done that. Uh, but no, he rolled in, and I punish with a smash. And then, he goes, I, like, from downtown, my man just jumps. We'll, we'll get to that down air in a second. My man just jumps in forwards air. Forward airs. Just jump and forward air. I don't know in what universe this man is living in. To where I can forward smash right there. And he can be right there. And somehow he hits me with that. I don't understand what universe he's living in. Um, like, so again, allow me to provide some context. In this matchup, I'm usually going to go for edge guards against DK with down air because down air beats DK's up special. It beats him jumping up. It's just a good option if he's below me. If I had gone for forward air here, that would have been dumb. If I had gone for neutral air here, that would have been dumb. So, like, that's the only situation that I can really see this forward air working out. But, like, props to you for trying it, dude. Just props to you. Um, but yeah, I mean, he just kind of put himself in a situation where all I had to do was watch him and say, Hey, he's going to be here at this time, so I'll press the button at that time. That's, that's all I had to do. And at that point, he's too low. This one, this one I feel like I got cheated. This one, why, why you do me dirty like that, Smash? I feel like I deserve to grab that ledge, but it's okay. I styled on him that I don't think I took any damage during that entire stock. Nope. No damage on the entire stock, so I'm like, you know what, it's worth it, that was pretty sick. Third stock, we're even. This is an even game. Well, let me clarify that. This is not an even game. Don't let these numbers and these pictures down here, don't let that fool you. This is not an even game. I've already won. I am so deep inside this man's head. He has hit me twice in this entire match. Uh, I am so deep inside this man's head. He, he He's already lost. He's already on the loser screen. And he doesn't even know it. Um, yeah, anyway, back to the match. Uh, he jumps, starts winding punch. Like, I can understand if you have, like, a lead, or, like, not, not a lead, but if you have, like, a head start getting off the platform, you see I die too, you want to get in a few wines before I respawn, cool, that's fine. But, you have to understand, right? Like, at some point you're going to have to abandon this wind-up. You're not going to be able to do the full wind-up here, because I'm going to attack you at some point. I have, up until this point, again, been pretty aggressive. Like, fairly aggressive. Not, actually, not super aggressive, but, like, uh, I've beaten him up a lot to the point where he knows that he does not want to get hit by me. He's scared of me, is what I'm trying to say. So when I drop down straight, like, just straight down, right next to him, he's like, oh no, there's a dog in front of me. I do not want to fight dog. I do not even want to try to fight dog at this moment. Dog has caught me while I am working the shoulder muscles. Dog could hit me. I must run away from dog. So he chooses to roll, because that's what people do when they have a gut instinct to get away. They don't run. They don't jump. They just roll. Uh, although, to be fair, when you're winding and you press a direction, you just automatically roll, so... That's fair. I can understand where that came from. Uh, I kind of just read that 
I expected him, yeah, I, I just kind of expected him to roll away. Again, Wolf is very suppressive. I'm kind of just covering all of his options. Wolf is just fast enough to the point where you can just kind of throw out moves. And chances are you're going to hit them. Yep. It landed behind me, and I went for another Nair. Uh, don't ask me why I went for... Uh... That Nair. Don't ask me why I went for that second Nair. That second Nair was weird. And maybe I expected him to, like, jump, and I wanted to hit him with the reverse hitbox. Beats me. Maybe that was a, supposed to be a back air. Beats me. That was dumb on my part. That was unprofessional, okay? Uh, let it be known. But, you know, speaking of dumb moves and of unprofessionalism, this, 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 this specimen, this, um, this, this hunk of gorilla does the thing that has... Well, let's see how many times it's worked out for him. You know, just just across this game, you know. Um, you know he, he did it that first time on the first stock, and, uh, well, that didn't work. Um, and then he did it, um, you know, I think he did it one more time on his first stock, and he actually died for it. So that didn't really work out for him. Uh, and then he did it, uh, you know, a, a couple times on his second stock, I think. And, um, well, I didn't take any damage to that stock, so we already know how that went. Um, so it's pretty safe to say that dash attack on shield has not been working out for this guy. But this man... Okay, let me tell you a little something about this guy, okay? He is a believer. He believes in himself. He believes in his character. He believes in his own ability, his own skill, his own determination. He will not be stopped by me calling him an idiot. But he's still an idiot. Like, I'm going to do that every single time. It's, it's just, it's, it's how nature works, okay? You've got, listen, you've got, okay, listen, hold on, wait. You've got predator, and you've got prey. Predator and prey. That's just how it works. And, you know, and listen. You make it especially easy for the predator when the prey's just stupid. That was a that was a pretty cool down here though, because I, I okay so okay hold on I'm calling this guy an idiot. That was actually a smart move. Okay, so I back through him right. Every single time that this guy has gone low hasn't worked out for him, except for that one time that first stock where he uh, almost messed me up with his up B and hit me with like the one hit that got the 11.3 percent. But we don't talk about that. Every other time that he's that he's recovered low, like tried to snap right to the ledge, it's not worked out for him, right? So he tries to recover high. Uh, I read that option because I've kind of you know by this point between like the five dash attack on shields that he keeps trying to like make work, even though they're never going to work. Um, between that to kind of just the way that he's like behaving, um, you know, the way that he, you know, the way that he's responding to my presence, to my pressure. I can tell this guy is not, you know, necessarily a uh, top tier player. So I'm like, okay, a, a lot of times what top tier players would do is if they have a jump in midair, if they have a jump off stage, they burn it. They burn it right away. All right, yo, it's me in post. Um, I really quickly wanted to butt in here because I misspoke in the actual video. Uh, during the actual recording, and it was just kind of in unclear in general what I was trying to say, so I just wanted to clarify real quick. Um, first off, I, like I said, I misspoke. I meant to say not high-tier players, not top-tier players, tend to burn their jump early. Um, so beginning and like mid-level players tend to burn their jump, but it's in a very specific situation, um, and I think I didn't make this clear. If you hit them not a super far distance, they tend to burn their jump, right? Because the thought process that happens there is they think, okay, they didn't hit me very far, so they're in a position to hit me again. So I should try to get away from them. And jumping is kind of just like one of the easiest, quickest ways to create distance. Um, so that's why a lot of people burn their jump. Um, 
more experienced players know to conserve their jump sometimes so that you can mix people up because uh, sometimes people anticipate you jumping uh, and you can, you know, uh, read that. Um, and, yeah, the situation's kind of reversed for if you hit them far away. It's like if you hit them, like, off screen, but they didn't hit the blast zone yet, so they're still alive, right? Uh, a lot of beginning players will save their jump then and will try to go low and recover up to the ledge. Um, whereas high tier or top tier players will conserve their jump and will know to mix up whether they recover high or low. Um, yeah, just wanted to just wanted to make that clarification because this is a little bit unclear. Okay, and I'm like, okay, he's he's just gonna jump here. He's just gonna burn. So yeah, we read that. So again, back here, I read the jump. I know he's gonna do it. I, um, you know, I'm glad he was uh, at, in these last few moments right there. In those last few moments of his life, he thought, man, I need to get away from this wolf. I, you know, wolf is over here. I need to go this way. I need to go this way. I'm very glad that he had that, that survival instinct because it's what ended up killing him. If he had uh, not touched the stick at all, I'm pretty sure he would have hit like right about here. Uh, if he had pointed the stick towards me, I'm pretty sure he would have hit like right there. And again, he would have lived from both of those. But no, in, in his last few moments, he decided like, oh, nope, 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 I need to get out. And he decided to point that way, meaning that his uh, his trajectory from like right about here went like, yep, just past that ledge. Thank God for bad DI. And again, like I said, DK, hor horizontal recovery with that mood, move, but pretty good. It's not bad, you know? It's not the worst thing you could ever see. Uh, but vertical... <clears throat> excuse me. Vertical recovery with that move? Garbage. Almost as bad as Wolf's. Um, I'm kidding. Wolf's vertical recovery is... is decent. But yeah. That's a JVT right there. Anyway. Well, that was fun. Man, I wasn't I wasn't expecting that to work or to, to last like 30 minutes, but it did. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, let's let's just I, I just want to go over this, right? Just a little bit. I just want to talk about what we've learned from watching this buffoon here on Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Online Play. First thing we learned, um, don't drop down right away. I know it seems like a good idea to just say like, "Hey, I want to get into the action. I want to, I want to, I want to fight this dude." That's what this game is about, right? It's about fighting people. Yes, but it's about fighting smarter, not harder. Even when you are a gigantic brute, such as the Donkey Kong, sometimes it's smarter to wait it out to kind of see what I'm going for than to just drop down and run straight for me. Sometimes it's smarter to just be patient, right? Um, and it's like, especially, especially in a matchup like this, right? Because half the battle is knowing not just what you are capable of, but knowing what your opponent is capable of, right? And I know that sounds cheesy and dumb, but it's actually like, it's true. Um, so for example, like in this matchup, I know that DK's recovery is kind of garbage. I know that I can down air him off stage, and unless he pulls some serious mix-ups and seriously delays his recovery, I know that I can mess him up with my down air, because, again, if he jumps, I can hit him with down air. If he uses his upbeat, I can hit him with down air. That's that's me winning, that's me understanding the matchup, right? Like, just straight up. I'm not trying to brag or anything, that's just, that's just matchup knowledge. Part of his matchup knowledge, right, is you have to look at Wolf and you have to say, okay, what tools does Wolf have in his kit that will make life miserable for me? One of them is gun. He has a gun. He can hit you from right here. Okay, if Wolf is right here, and you are right here, Wolf can still hit you, because Wolf has gun. Okay? So part of that is understanding, okay, you know, what does he expect me to do, and what's he going to do in response to what he expects me to do? You know? Don't just run in, like, don't just charge in, okay? It's not a good idea, because in like 9 games out of 10, 
I opened a match with Wolf by just dropping down and shooting or just shooting. Because I expect you to do to like not just shield, okay? Do the thing that I don't expect you to do. Because even if you aren't necessarily in like the position that you wanna be up here, or if you drop down and shield, even if that's like not exactly where you wanna be, it's better than taking 10%. In my opinion, I don't know. Maybe <clears throat> maybe it's better. Maybe that 10% made, made the difference. Um so that's another thing we learned. Matchup knowledge. Know, know thine enemy. Know thine self. Know thine enemy. That's a good video title. And you know what? I might be adding that to it. Too. Um, I, I want to apologize, by the way, at the end of this video. Um, you know, good time to apologize, right? For my voice. I know it's been cracking and uh, it probably sounds miserable at this point. Um, I mean, my voice normally sounds miserable, but that's besides the point. Uh, I stupidly sat down for a recording session, and, uh, I didn't really sit down for a recording session, because, again, this wasn't meant to be a recording session. This was meant to be a rename a crap ton of files session. Um, but, you know, uh, things turn out not always the way that we expect them to. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Basically, I don't have a water nearby. That's why my voice sounds so bad. But hey, here's the third thing that we learned. Um, the second thing? I don't even remember how many I've counted. Kind of, here's another thing that we learned. Don't use dash attack in neutral, okay? Again, just a little recap, right? Neutral, neutral game, is when neither character is an has an inherent advantage, okay? An example of not neutral game would be right here. Now, in this particular situation right here, where I have hit him, Wolf has hit DK. Wolf right here is in advantage state. That means that Wolf has an inherent advantage. And DK is in disadvantage state. That means that DK has an inherent disadvantage. This is because DK is in a situation where he has to recover, right? He's in a, he's in a position where I could either follow up, or I could anticipate him trying to recover, and I could, um, punish him, depending on which option he chose, right? So, that's, that's just basic, uh, competitive fighting game terms for you. <sighs> don't use dash attack in neutral. Don't use dash attack in neutral. Don't, 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 don't use dash attack in neutral. Don't do it. See, I shoot the gun because I expect him to like fast fall or something. I don't even know why I shot the gun. I probably should have jumped and shot gun. That would have worked out better. But he lands right in front of me. Forward tilt. That's good. Okay. So immediately, right here, we see he regains neutral. Or I shouldn't say he regains neutral. He recovers. And then he tries to flip it around. He tries to switch the advantage and disadvantage states by forward tilting. Right? With that forward tilt, he does not necessarily switch the states, because I, I neither of us really has the, the distinct advantage. He just kind of said, get off me, right? He just kind of created space in between us so that we could reset neutral, okay? So we have reset neutral at this point. We, like, he is not in an advantage state because he slapped me, okay? So we are in neutral, and immediately he puts himself in a disadvantage again. Don't use dash attack in neutral game, okay? Advantage, disadvantage, get off me, reset neutral, neutral game, disadvantage because he was an idiot and did an unsafe option on shield. Don't do that. Don't. Just don't. Just don't. It's a bad idea. Um, last thing that we learned that I'm going to talk about because my voice is getting really, really tired. Um, <clears throat> mix up your recoveries, okay? And especially, 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 especially dependent on your character uh, matchups, right? I mean, honestly, in this situation, DK is like in kind of the same position as like Snake, okay? Snake has an incredibly exploitable recovery if he does it below, right? Because Snake with his Cypher, you know, I'm assuming he's not going to blow himself up with C4, right? Because that's like more advanced Snake recovery. It, but when Snake uses a Cypher, right, when he's little helicoptering up, like, he, like, if he's down here and he uses that, he has basically two options. He either gets to, like, right about here, and he grabs the ledge, or he gets to right about here, and he air dodges up to grab the ledge. That's about it. That's about it. I mean, he could, he could drop and, like, blow himself up further, 
like up here with the C4, depending on percentages and stuff like that. But in general, it's super exploitable. It's a lot better an idea if you're Snake to use the helicopter like over here somewhere and go all the way up here to like the top of the stage. Like if you look at the little uh, stage thing in the corner, like if you're over here as Snake, you want to try to get as high up as you can, generally speaking. Because then, if you're able to go up here, to where you're bubbled, and your opponent can't really see you all that well, you can do a bunch of stuff up there. You can move around, your opponent doesn't know like where exactly you're going to land, and that gives you a lot of time as you're coming down to air dodge away, to pull out a grenade, to, you know, throw down a C4, to do so many, so many things. As opposed to just rising up and then possibly dying because I'm able to hit you at a cipher with down air as well. Like it's just know the best recoveries for your for your character. And I'm not saying that DK is necessarily bad. If you play DK, it's not necessarily a bad idea to go to ledge. Just don't do it every single time. Because I'm expecting him to go to ledge here. And especially, okay, so like this is also part of adaptation, right? Like, look at what I'm doing. I, so I jump, because I'm trying to catch him coming up, I whisk the down air, so that's a, that, you know, so first off, as Donkey Kong, you need to think, okay, he has something that he's able to do if I go down here and then try to come up, right? He's going to try to down air me, and, you know, part of it is understanding, like, okay, I can be hit if he does that. So then, the next time you're in that situation, don't dash attack in neutral. Next time you're in that situation. So again, understand, like, mix up your recovery. Because I go for the same exact thing. And he should know that I know what to do in that situation. So he should avoid that situation. At least at this particular moment in time, right? Because think about it. If he were to jump right here and recover, like, high, right? I probably would not be expecting that. I guess I, if I really... Wolf is a good character. Again, let me let me restate that. So I probably could jump, and then, like, if I saw that he was doing that, I could probably jump again, even if I had kind of gone down here to catch him. If I saw that he jumped, I probably could have reacted and jumped again to, like, fair, or maybe nair, or if he... Like, he might have been a little bit behind me, so maybe, like, back air or something. I don't know. Or maybe just get back on stage and then catch him when he's landing. But at least I would not have down him and not only killed him, but also embarrassed him, because, you know, I mean, spikes are just cool, flashy kills, and you never want to get hit by one of them. Like, mix up your recovery. Just mix it up. Just change it up, right? Because if he had gone hide here at every single edge guarding opportunity after this, every single time he's off stage, I have to make the decision, okay, do I want to focus on if he's going to go low, or do I want to focus on if he goes high? Because as soon as you show me as soon as you show your opponent that you have an understanding that you can do both high and low recoveries, you create this this element of decision making in their head because they have to make a decision, okay, I know that they could recover low, okay, I know that they can recover high, I know that they know how to do both of those, I know that they are open to doing both of those. Which one do I cover? You know, it, 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 it creates more doubt in the mind of your character. Um, I know that I said that was the last thing that we learned. One last thing that we learned. Pay attention to when you're recovering. And don't be an idiot like me. Alright, thank you.